Have you got bunions or have you got painful toes, or maybe even crooked toes? If you do, you're in the right spot. My name's Andrew Wine. I'm a physio with a special interest in foot and ankle things. I'm gonna show you some of the tips I've learned over 20 years in helping people correct their own feet. The first thing we need to know though, is the angulation correctable? So as you can see here, we've got some alignment issues here at this toe and I can easily straighten that toe up. So you can clearly see that this is correctable, in which case, watch on. If yours is not correctable, then these tips are not gonna help for you and you'll need to look for other options. So your big toe is correctable, so we'll be able to do something with this. Step one, we've gotta realign that toe. Easiest way to do that is with a silicon toe spacer or separator. And this is, these are flamingo feet. If I put these on, we can see what's going to happen. Now you can often buy a single spacer at most chemists, and that's not bad. But the benefit of the flamingo feet is that you can wear them around and walk around them, and that's what we want to have happen. And we've had amazingly good results in improving alignment after just a few weeks. So we put these on and we wear these around. This is one of the few products in the world that is wearable that strengthens and aligns at the same time. And you can see how much better that correction is already. So that's step one, pop the flamingo feet on, walk around in them, start with 20 minutes and build up to a few hours. Step two is to strengthen the muscles that keep the toe in good alignment, in particular this muscle along here. And the easiest exercise to do with that is to see if we can get that toe to move across. So I'm gonna ask Jo if she can move that toe across on her own. And as you can see, it's a struggle, but she can. And you wanna hold that there. The next thing I'll do is I'll take it across with my own hands and see if she can maintain that alignment. So see if you can hold it there. Nice. So she's done that really well. You wanna hold that for ideally five seconds initially, build up to 10 seconds, eventually right up to 30 seconds. You can do this in the air or on the ground and that's strengthening the muscle underneath here. So if you follow those two really easy tips, straighten a line and then strengthen the muscles, you'll go a long way in reducing that bunion deformity there. And what I will say is that you must act on this now with this variation uh, in alignment here. If that's left unchecked and you continue to wear tight shoes, uh, or if it's hereditary, it's going to keep going further and further across. The big toe can get stuck right across on the other side, and then unfortunately, the only option is surgery. So if you do have any angulation issues there, get onto it now, head to our website, freestylefeet.com.au, and you'll learn much more about it.